This request goes to the convocation lecturer, Mr. John Momo. By popular demand, sir, we will appreciate a soft copy of your lecture. Because of its importance, we want it on our website today. I'm sure I can link up with my friend Femi to get that. Thank you very much, sir. With the permission of the founder, the totality of us here, let me announce to all of us the presence of a friend of the house, indeed one of arrest children, Mr. Michael Opayami Babindele, popularly known as MOB. And of course, we have arrest first junior. I'm sorry, I don't know whether I have the arrest first junior, the distinguished Oluyi of you. Kabisi, you are welcome, sir. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, my friend, please pass the microphone to Are for his comments, and then we'll write it off. Thank you. Your Royal Highness, the Alumni of me, the Vice Chancellor, our Honorable Federal Minister of Communication, you are heartily welcome. For your information, it was only a few days ago, I think about three or four days that I spoke to him that that great man, John Momo, will be coming here. And he agreed to come. Thank you very much indeed. Come out, come out, let people see you. They do, I have not known you. My students give me a round of applause. Is evidence of what you can become. This is why this university is established. We want you to pick your mentors right from here. He has told you how he started politics and how he came to law where he belongs and how he started his own practice. Now it is a case of Success, success, and success. Congratulations. I will forgive you for not coming here much earlier. <laughs> you will stay for at least a night. We go around and see the magic we have performed here. Congratulations. <laughs> Again, let me specially welcome the handsome man who had just risen from that place, MOB. Please stand up. Come over. A brilliant lawyer by any standard, a member of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, also of American Bar, practicing law. Again, he veered into politics. He was shot recently, during the so-called political campaign. But God helped him. The gun went through its left and came out on the right without torturing the important part of him. You are back. That is evidence that you know what this country is suffering from. When he was in the hospital, I went to him. If, when I heard he was in the hospital the following day. You know the first question he asked me? said, Baba, was this what you created the kitty for? I said, no. Keep quiet, meanwhile. God has saved you. We're going to save you. 
you have ambition of going further, you get there. We support you. God bless you. Please let me skip all protocols. And I hope you have done so. That is expert motion in law. Professor Akifeleye, who introduced our great man to us. Thank you for all the things you said about me when I was University of Lagos. I only hope that the tempo of development in that place is still on. But whether it's on or not, the University of Lagos gave me the experience of what we are facing in public universities. And that's why, after I had achieved a lot there, I decided to found a university. A university will be an, an example to all others of how a university will be run. A university that will overtake all those that were existed 60 years before it. Today, we have done so all in eight years. We are the best in law in this country. And the NUC says it is the best in West Africa. Last night, I got this document from the law school. Where the director told us and I later found it, that Abuad had 12 first class in law school. <laughs> A great university is like uh, University of Azikwe, even Abu, Abu has only two. Two. Those were established long before I thought of even establishing a law, law practice. But that is just by the way. I thank God that we are all witnesses to what the lecturer of today said about the future of this country. I have never met him before, but I've heard about him. I read about him. I saw him on television. I saw him in America receiving awards. I saw him in UK receiving awards. This year, we decided to invite him to give this lecture. Sir, I thank you for coming. Please stand up, sir. Please come here. You see, now I can command a rich person. <laughs> well, Olofi Tula told us that he was a broadcaster with a golden voice. Today, I heard the golden voice. Look, you will see the way he delivered this lecture. The comma, the full stop, semicolon was by his voice. <laughs> He's a highly gifted man. He's a professional to the core, but more importantly, he is a successful entrepreneur. And that is what we want to do in this country today. You don't go about applying for work. Try and use what you know to create job, to help yourself. Do you know, as an entrepreneur, 
he started channel when a little over 30 years of age. Give me a round of applause. That is a champion entrepreneur. Go and sit down, sir. <laughs>